Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. For anyone that uh, is in a wheelchair, walking will be a dream. For those who, for whatever reason, have lost one leg or part of their foot, and they cannot even stand straight anymore, walking will be a, a big blessing. Have you thought about that? For those individuals that are so sick, that they don't have the strength to stand up. Walking will be a wonderful desire. And here we are. Most of us are in okay shape to take a walk, to do some things around the house or work. And yet we choose to be sitting down all the time. We choose to be on the recliner, on the couch, or on the TV with the remote as much as we can. You know, walking is such a wonderful ability that the good Lord gave us to all of us. And if there is anything that will be beneficial for you is to walk and learn to breathe when you are walking. Sometimes uh, for weather conditions or security reasons or whatever other reasons, people cannot walk outside in their neighborhood or in the wherever they live, you know. But still there are options for everybody. Even in a little tiny apartment, you can do some walking. Have you thought about that? You can make a path, unless you are a hoarder. <laughs> but you can make a path to go from one point to the other. Sometimes even in the night, when you don't feel like going to sleep, a little walk will help. Walking and breathing. You go walk, come back and breathe. That is such an important thing to do. Relaxing learning to reflect, perhaps saying your prayers to God. Walking will be so beneficial for you. I encourage you to, today to consider that. You know what is one very important thing when you are considering your health and exercising, and walking, stretching, all that? Do not compare yourself with anybody else. That's a mistake. Some people are watching others, whether it's in the same house or in the same workplace or with their own family. And they say, but look at this person. Look how fit this person is. My same age, older than me. And look, he's in a great shape. She's in a great shape. And look at me, I cannot be like them. Don't make that mistake. Do you know why? Because the truth is, you have your own life. It's your life, it's your body. You know, everyone has its own story. Why do you stop? What if you just stop thinking about what other people are doing for their own health? and you start a plan for your own health with, within your limitations, within your capabilities. Perhaps you are not able to pay for a gym, a monthly fee to go to a gym to exercise. Perhaps your neighborhood is not too safe to walk whenever you are able to walk. I bet you can find one way or other 
to start doing a routine, even if it's once a week, to walk and breathe. Walk and breathe. It is so important that through the day, you get up and you move and you decide to make your body move because it was designed by God, our Lord, that we move. He designed us to move and operate. For those people that are in a wheelchair or they don't have both legs, <laughs> I promise you, they will give anything in order to walk. And here you are, able to walk. Will you do it? Our dear friends in a wheelchair, or perhaps just with one leg, or very sick. They also, you my friend, if you're one of those, you can find ways to do some stretching. I am absolutely sure that if you ask for help to those who know about your condition, they will tell you what kind of things you can do. Because all the time when we seek for help, the Lord God will provide. Hey, 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 hey! That's all, that's all, that's all, folks! <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.